Hey there, I'm Meg and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to update your Google business profile on the front end. Let's get to it. What you're going to do is head to business.google.com and then you're going to click on your business name from the list. If you do not see your business name, you want to check that you're logged in as the correct Google account. You would click on your profile picture in the upper right and then you can switch to a different Google, Google account if you need to. After you click on your business name, it's going to bring you to the front end. It used to bring you to a back end, but it seems like Google has now updated that this is the only place where you can update your profile, which honestly, I don't like this. I prefer the original back end much better. So if you're like me and you're more familiar or comfortable with the back end, this tutorial is gonna kind of guide you through how to do everything on the front end. So as you can see, we have the settings of my business page and then we also have what it looks like. This is what viewers see. They don't see all of this stuff, like your edit is being reviewed, they wouldn't see that. But anyway, again, if you're not seeing this, make sure you're logged in as the correct Google account. And another place, another way to get here is to literally Google your business name. So edit profile is where you're mainly going to be. This is where you would update your business name, category, description, your contact information. You can add your business location. If you don't have a location, you can add your service areas. You can also do both, which is great. Here you can add your hours. I have a full tutorial on how to add and edit your hours on Google. But to put it simply, you can have special hours like if you're closed on Christmas, you can also have multiple hours. So for example, if you're a restaurant and you have breakfast hours, but you have a closure in between breakfast and lunch, you can note that. And then this is just some additional information you can add here. And if you scroll to the top, you'll see these different tabs. If you click on the tab, it just scrolls you up and down based on where that stuff is. So it's just easier to navigate if you're trying to get around somewhere. So we're gonna X out of that. And then this is where you can look at your reviews. So you can reply to reviews. You can see who's written reviews for your business, which is great. If you click get more reviews, you will see your review link that you can click this button to share with your clients and customers. So that's a great way to get more reviews. You can also get your review link down here. This is if people message your page. I have messages turned off for my page because I don't wanna deal with one more method of contact. Add photo is this section here. So I have a lot more photos on the front end. Instead of add photos, people would see, see more photos. So if you wanna add photos, you can click this button or this button. And then you can categorize what the photo is. So if you want just a standard photo or your logo cover photo, so your this would be your logo. And then I don't know where your cover photo would go anymore. On the back end, it shows a little profile. So you would see your business and a full profile of it and you would see your cover photo and your profile photo just like on Facebook. But I don't know where it goes on the front end. So performance is just basic analytics for your profile so you can see how many people viewed and interacted with your profile how many people called you if you have your phone number added people can click the button and call you if you have messages enabled if you have a booking button enabled you can see who clicked on that who asked for directions I do have my website here so we can see how many people clicked on my website from my business profile we're going to x out of that and then edit products and edit services. So these are two very different things. So for products, I'll show you where this all goes later. You can add if you have physical products or for me, I have my online courses, which I need to update. I have new cover photos, so it's a good thing we're here. So you can add a product here. If you already have a product, you can just click on it to edit. This is what the edit window looks like. And then services is basically just categories. You would type in your service and then you would select based on what Google already has. Some people will add, they'll recommend like, oh, she also does this, this, and this. So for example, I saw wedding photography here and I haven't done that in years. So if somebody recommends that this is what you do and you don't do it, click on it and then delete service. You may also see a notification 
in orange at the top that says something to the effect of it, it would look something like this. it says something like please review these changes or these changes have been recommended for your page and please review them. So you can just delete them that way. So over here, you can have a booking link. So you would link to where people can book with you if you do one-on-ones. And then you can also have some frequently asked questions, which is pretty cool. Add an update is basically adding a post. So this is what I would do if I am posting the same thing that I post on Facebook and Instagram. So you can add your caption, your photo or post graphic. And then what's great is you can add a link, which is fantastic. So when I post my YouTube tutorials, I would do learn more and I would post the link to YouTube. So where all of this stuff goes and where you can also edit it on this sidebar you have your contact information here with your buttons, more contact information. And like I said, people viewing your profile won't see this stuff. This is just back end stuff. This is where your products go. This is where some of your categories go and your reviews. Now, if your Facebook reviews flood in, they'll appear here on top of your Google reviews. In order to have your Facebook reviews flood in, there's not a specific thing you can do. You just want to make sure that your information on Facebook matches Google so that way Google and Facebook can make that connection. I have a tutorial that goes through that a little more in depth. This is where your description goes, which is funny because that's one of the first things that you edit and add, but it goes way down here. And then this is where your updates go or your posts. So if you go through, this is exactly what I post on Facebook and Instagram. It does, Google does crop, so it doesn't look super great, but you get the gist. And I haven't found how you can manually add in your profiles. Google might just connect them in. And then this unfortunately is a section that you can't get rid of. It's the people also search for. So it would bring up businesses similar to yours. So that is how you update your Google business profile on the front end. I hope it helped. To learn even more about Google business, check out my other tutorials. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.